Hello, my name is Josh Farkerson, and welcome to reading height and weight measurements using a physician mechanical beam scale and height rod. In this video, I will show you how to use a teaching tool to help students to read height and weight measurements on a beam scale and height rod. You'll notice in the notes area that there are tips on how to use each slide effectively. You will also see the headings Interaction Slide or Display Slide. Interaction slides contain movable objects for you to manipulate as you teach, and the display slides do not contain any movable objects. On this interaction slide, you are able to move the large and small poise weights and have students hypothetically determine the patient's weight based on your placement of those poise weights. Keep in mind that I am currently in PowerPoint's edit mode, which allows me to select the preview slides and move objects on my slide. You want to remain in edit mode while sharing the screen with your students. To use this interaction, first adjust the zoom level using the controls located on the bottom right of the window to about 200%. You want your students to be able to see the quarter, half and three-quarter marks located on the upper poise bar. Then click on any of the poise weights and use your keyboard arrows to move the poise weights from left to right. For more precise control of the poise weights, hold the control key while using the arrows. Here I am not using the control key and notice the placement isn't very precise. However, now that I am holding the control key, you can see that the placement of the poise weights is much more precise. This slide shows students the head bar extended and placed atop of the patient's head, as well as a magnified view of the read line, which is colored in red. Emphasize to students the direction in which the number of inches increases on the top portion of the height bar. This is important when illustrating a quarter, half, and three quarters of an inch. Use this slide to give students an opportunity to interact with you by stating the height based on your placement of the adjustable height rod. To use this interaction, click on the height rod above the read line. Then use your keyboard arrows to move the bar up and down. Try using a variety of placements throughout your lecture and ask students to state each measurement that you display. They will have fun taking turns with this exercise and will appreciate the opportunity to receive your immediate feedback. Some height rods do not indicate the number of feet and use only inches. You can use this slide to emphasize to students the importance of knowing how to calculate a patient's height based on mastering the multiples of 12. As with the previous interaction slide, click on the height rod above the read line, then use your keyboard arrows to move the height bar up and down. Remember to hold the control key for more precision. Now if you plan to use this file in an online course through web conferencing software such as Adobe Connect or Illuminate Live, do not upload the PowerPoint file into the software. Instead, Use the screen share option to share the PowerPoint application from your desktop. This will allow you to move the objects and make necessary adjustments throughout your lecture. And there you have it. This concludes reading height and weight measurements using a physician mechanical beam scale with height rod. Feel free to download this teaching tool from the video description area. I hope you enjoy using this tool in your course. For updates on other available teaching tools, you can subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. Thank you for viewing this video.